change this morning. 88 cents. <laughs> I'm definitely a breakfast. Love that sausage and biscuits. But, uh, my message is this is all coming to an end. Yeah, I'm watch, I watch people all the time, the, uh, even older people, without even thinking about it, they open up a can of that stuff, it's called Monster, you know, Monster, you know, Red Bull, we got a lot of these energy drinks that are definitely, you know, showing where they're demonic, but yet people think, well, it's just caffeine, it picks me up, it gets me boost, they're not considering, um, what's written in the Word of God, you know, and seeing the signs that are around us everywhere. I mean, I can see the signs, just what's happening in front of me, in front of my eyes, just looking at what's going on. And then uh, just sticking with the Word of God, what's written in the Holy Bible. Because uh, everything we need to know is written in there. And then he said to watch, just look. You don't have to follow these false deceptions. Just look and you'll see with your own eyes everything that's happening. Right down to the earthquakes, all the things that he said that would come to pass. He said, watch. Everything he said has been coming to prophecy fulfilled. That's why he said, watch. He didn't say, watch all these false doctrines. He said to watch what he said come to pass. Watch. And you look at it, we've seen the blood moons, we've seen the earthquakes, we've seen the uh, destruction happening everywhere, we've seen the dead fish, the dead animals, the whales, everything beaching themselves around the world. Okay, we've seen peace being taken from the earth. We've seen lots of people, wars, destruction, now rumors of war. These are everything that was written in the Word of God, and that's why he said, watch. He didn't say go be fooled by false deception. If you read what's written in our word of God, it'll highly tell you to stay away from false deceptions. That's nice to see. It's what witnessed somebody praying over their food before they ate. That was, that was a very nice thing to see. You don't see that very often, but that was a good thing to see. God bless them. You know, God bless them. You don't see that too often anymore. I guarantee you he sees everything that's getting ready to go on. I'm pretty sure he does. Anybody that'll sit there and pause and take pray over their food. God bless him. But Jesus said to watch. He didn't say to watch false deception. He said to watch what he said, his words unfolded. You know? I'm sitting there looking at the counter where the coffee pot goes because they, they're refilling the coffee pots and then they put a number up there and the number is seven. They're going to bring back some more coffee next to the tea up there on the counter. But you see, my eyes are drawn to this stuff all the time. I think we're getting ready to go. And when we're taken, the seventh seal is going to be opened up. Have you noticed how a lot of stuff is red? Like blood red. And if you remember that dream that I had where everybody had little horns on their head and everything was blood red. Everything. This is the time to be wise, my friends. I think that's where the foolish come in. The foolish, the reason why the Lord says foolish is because they followed the false doctrines. Because they didn't watch for his words to come to pass. You know, there's people on YouTube that are telling people to go get some olive oil and extra virgin olive oil and anoint their heads with it. I mean, how insane is that? It's by Jesus Christ's stripes, by his blood, that we're even redeemed. You know, when you're putting your faith in, a, in olive oil, I mean, really? Are you serious? And then they're even telling them people to put it on their dogs, put it on your pets, you know, because they know a lot of people really love their pets, you know, and they know people can be very easily deceived today. That's why I say it's really important 
if uh, if each and every one of us will get this message out not to be deceived Jesus said that too he said don't be deceived everything we need to know is written in the Word of God even where he warns you about false deceptions you know to stay away from such things if it's not coming from the Holy Word from the Holy Bible stay away from it you know we who have been separated yeah we're seeing a lot of numbers and signs and stuff but that's the Lord we know he works with sevens okay we know this but this is just telling us that time's up okay that we're getting ready to go it doesn't mean that we should watch this false deception stuff you know just keep watching stay with the Word of God because everything we need to know is written in the Word of God God bless you and uh, get ready I really have a strong feeling we're getting ready to go I'm gonna uh, put that same video in the description box on this here video because uh, it's very important that people do not be deceived these are the final hours many people are going to be deceived because they're following these false doctrines people on there and they think they're nice guys look at the number of people they've got following them tens of thousands of people okay and then ask yourself why would Jesus call them foolish five wise and five foolish would you think that it was wise to uh, follow Jesus Christ or would you say it would be foolish to follow false doctrines such as the Illuminati deception you see what I'm saying it's very foolish to follow those people because all they're doing is further deceiving you even further from the truth the truth is written in the Holy Word that's all the truth that we need to hear what Jesus Christ wrote and he said to watch he told us all the things the signs of the times and then he said to watch and be not deceived and look at all the people on YouTube everything that they're saying and you guys know I'm very serious you don't hear me talking uh, about China and Russia because God in the Word of God says I'll turn your enemies against you because you weren't watching you weren't seeking him you were seeking signs in all the wrong places that video Ken Peters he was warning people in 2000 he was warning people that if they didn't get right repent and pray and try to get to the churches then that it would be too late and here we are now in 2016 16 years later okay that's when the Lord gave me that photo in 2014 with the angel above my head the Lord's constantly trying to warn you of the truth of what's happening watch that video on the link that I'm going to provide here I know it was in my earlier video but I'm going to do it again in this video and uh, it's very very important you know I know people say that I keep saying the same thing over and over and over well you know what I just hope and pray that it sticks that you guys understand just how serious this is okay I do have dreams visions that the Lord gives me but I'm not gonna sit there and babble something that's not being given to me but this word is being put on me to tell you this what I'm telling you now that's being given to me to say this how important it is okay to follow him by Jesus Christ stripes by his blood were redeemed not by no olive oil to put on your head that's putting your faith in all the wrong things God bless you you know that our redemption draws near we're getting real close to going home God bless each and every one of you and remember this that lady that said if I could just touch the hem of his garment that I would be cured and she was and he said it was because of her faith and her faith was in him just touching the hem of the garment of his clothing that's how much faith she had in him do you see what I'm saying not in no olive oil not in no nothing but in him that was it God bless you